Welcome back, you guys! This is Tessindra. Continuing my Valkyria Chronicles campaign, where we're going to be doing the Chapter 3 combat mission. The West Bank of Vassal City, where we finally have a full squad of... Well, Squad 7. And after going through and selecting my team, I am fairly confident that this is going to be difficult. Because I remember this. A ranking, this is hard. Here are details on the current operation. Details? Details. The Imperial Force is deployed in a defensive formation around a camp within Vassal's urban center. You will assign your squad position split between a city team and a riverside team. The city team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. No, we're going to do, do it the other way around. There's no way to get to the camp from the Riverside team in time. Your objective is to occupy the enemy camp, so that's it. Defeat the enemy units defending the camp, then get to the flag hung above their camp to occupy. Yeah, so we're going to be going over, like, capturing camps. Beginning with this operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. Before commencing the operation, choose the position... Units command to view a list of deployable units. Then, once you've selected a unit you'd like to deploy, choose the position you wish them to take. Intelligence reports say that they have tanks stationed in the city area there. Yes, it would behoove you to include an anti-tank unit in the city team to facilitate its neutralization. Yes, I would also recommend you add units with high AP, such as scouts and engineers, to your Riverside Strike Force. No. Once you've got your teams in place, select the deploy command to begin the operation. Now it's time to get those soldiers of yours into position. The enemy occupies Galia Space Camp. All ally soldiers and reserves are killed. So you have to one turn this. If you want to get the A rank, you have to do this in one turn. Which is rough. So you already have Rosie, Alicia, and the tank there. I'm going to add a... Um, Sniper here. That's going to be obvious later because there is an ace on this map. <clears throat> Largo is up here who is our Lancer. And what we're going to do is let's put, let's see, AP is 800 on all of these. I think Monthly's got the highest HP here, but I'm going to put him slightly in the back here. Uh, let's see, we want... We want some shock troopers here. Yes. Ramona. And Eddie. So, is this going to work? I don't actually know. So. Let us see if we succeed, because this is rough. Commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Yes. So there are, I think, three or four tanks, a bunch of leaders. Split or... into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad seven, move out. There is only offensive and more offensive. I'm sorry. Um. So, any more tutorials? All right. It's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, city and riverside. I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Leave the offense to me. Yes. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. I thought you were in the militia. Why... Why have you been doing this for a long time, Largo? That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Alright, so... Listen closely. <laughs> this information could save your life. I keep getting to a point where I want to speak, but they keep interrupting me. About occupying camps. Camps found across the battlefield grant your forces a number of advantages. Units stationed near camps get a boost to their defense and to the amount of HP recovered at the start of each turn. Even tanks, which usually get no HP bonus, will regain some HP at each turn start, but they take a lot of space to fit into the camp. Weapons with limited ammo like grenades, mortars, and lances are also replenished. So yeah, you can actually get mortars later and put them on the lancers. 
So it kind of works like the tank mortars. So they essentially turn the Lancers into anti-personnel dudes, which is nice to have. If there are enemy units around a camp, however, you cannot occupy it until they have been defeated. Or if you just knock them out of the camp. You don't actually need to kill them. You can just toss a grenade and have them shot out of the camp and then you can claim it, even if you survive the grenade. Effectively defending your camp so while taking down the enemies will pave your way to victory. Okay. So I've got nine command points to do this. So scout, scout. There's a leader. Now, as I recall, the, the ace is right here in the grass. Uh-huh. So scout, shock trooper. Let's see how accurate Marina is. Nope. How do I zoom in? This is going to be impossible to do. What are the chances? Nope. That's, uh... That's very unfortunate. An unfortunate way to start. I was hoping for a kill there. That is a leader with a lot of points. Well, if that didn't succeed, I'm gonna go for something else here. Um... Roger. Let's try to go for the camp in the beginning. So the scout is going to shoot at me for a bit. Hate imps. Hate. Yes, so... <laughs> There's one up there. This is a, a leader tank. And there is a leader scout. So we want that scout dead. There's another tank. Engineer, shock trooper, scout. So we want this guy dead, but he's too far away. Can we go further? No, we cannot get further with you. You have their attention, though. So, the scouts are not really that dangerous, but... I can't shoot any of the dangerous dudes right now. Uh, who do I want to kill here? We want to make... we want to get further along. Let's take the one that's furthest away. He is an imp hater, so his accuracy went up. Man down. Everybody be careful. So, we have more vision now. We need to do this in one turn, so him being there it doesn't really matter. So this is a scout we want to kill. And then we got two... No, we got a tank over here. We also have, unfortunately, an ace we want to deal with. So, two leaders and two tanks. What are the chances I can get Largo in range? Well, let's find out. So we did take out one of the scouts. But we don't want to deal with this shock trooper at all. I want to kill this scout, though. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think the ideal thing to do here is to bring Largo along and try to take out that tank. I don't know if his AP is going to last, though. Jesus, you got shot to shit here. Oh, the lamppost is in the way! God damn it. Oh, well. This is a bit too much, isn't it? Ideally, I would have liked him to have come around this way, but the shock trooper makes that difficult. So if I had taken Haynes and put him on the right side... Because there's another shock trooper here on, on elevation. I don't even see the camp right now. My turn, well, okay. hmm. enemy unit spotted. About terrain actions, I can crawl. Yes. For example, units walking through grass can select crawl to hide within it, out of view from enemy attackers. Also, climbing a ladder can allow the ro a unit. Roof access. Keep an eye out for other useful actions. That is true. So she takes reduced damage in there, but we need to get moving. We need to get moving. There you are. He's got a lot of health, as you can tell. 
We just need to get him unprone. Thank you. So this is an ace. Tie the immortal. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do this in one turn, so I've got five points left to do this. And so far I haven't killed anything. I've killed one scout. Let's see, can I... You see this, how shitty this sniper rifle is? So if he dodges, because aces can dodge. Okay. Sweet dreams. So I have a shock trooper ace down. Okay, that's that's something. Four points to go. And Largo is pretty much dead right now. Hmm. No. Um What if I just give you an evade, evade boost. This is an order. Watch the barrels of their guns. Watch the barrels of their guns. So his evasion stab just went up. Beat Empire. Beat Empire. Enemy there. Enemy found. Okay, so. Dying time! So we can actually get into the camp at this point, and probably... I don't know if we can get to the... the flag. A CP symbol is displayed besides the names of some units in on their profile window. These units are known as leaders, and they exist among both allied and enemy forces. In Squad 7, Alicia is one such leader. By including them on the field, they'll add... They'll each add one CP to your total, allowing you to control more units per turn. If a leader is defeated, however, that CP is subtracted from the pool. Keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out and destroying enemy leaders to reduce their CP pool. Yes. Yeah, dead. Yes, he is dead. So, I've got two CP remaining, so I can actually win this. But, like, I'm missing out on so much experience here. If I could take out this light tank, but like Largo is dead, pretty much. We got the ace, which is the thing that we can't really get any more of. There's only one ace per map, and you, I get his weapon now. Hain still has his evade boost up. And I still need to kill one shock trooper here. If I do this, and if I just hit the action key immediately... Can I kill that leader on the right? Oh, he's too far away! <laughs> okay, never mind. So, I missed the shot on the Shock Trooper. Largo took way too much damage there. This light tank is extra experience as well. So all of that went to the down the drain. Okay, so we kill Shock Trooper. And then we just claim the camp. Man down. Boom! One turn. Occupied enemy camp, and we got the ace. Operation complete. We took their base. So, what did I do wrong there? Uh, I lost, I missed the sniper shot on the shock trooper, but the, the early snipers are horrendous. I could have save scummed the hell out of it just to get that shot. Uh, I could have gone the right side instead, but I would have to go through that shock trooper and gotten Largo to take a shot or two uh, off on the tank. Because that tank was both a leader and a light tank, so it would have gotten us a lot of points to kill that thing. But in order to get the A rank, which is worth a lot, it is worth considerably more than a tank, I believe. But I think we would have gotten more points out of this if I had done that differently, but it's fine. Let's see, what does the mission say here? A rank. So, 
we did not destroy any light tanks and we missed three leaders. That's right, we missed uh, a scout leader, a shock trooper leader, a tank leader, and then two extra tanks. So this could have been way, way more experience, but you're stuck with nine CP. You have an annoying uh, ace in the grass that you have to get unproned first. And then you just have to hit with some sniper shots, which is um, difficult, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, wait, we got the A rank, which is what I was aiming for. I could have taken an extra turn there because I, I did only use 8 CP there. I could have taken an extra sniper shot there at the end and see if I'd gotten the, the shock trooper kill. There was a, a bunch of different ways for me to get it's a little bit higher score. But I'm, I'm all in all, I'm happy with this because this is one of the hardest missions to get an A rank, in my opinion, because you have to do it in one turn and all your stuff sucks in the beginning. There we go, we got the ZMMP-1. I didn't even check out the 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 um, the um scout rifle we got from the, the Brawl mission. But there we go, we got an A rank. We got an A rank, which is all I was hoping for. We got it, yeah, ace and A rank, that is what I wanted to go. Double A, double A, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Ace and an A. Uh, anyway. I will see you guys in the next episode. But, until then, see ya, and thanks for watching. <laughs>